Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and I'm very excited today to provide this video for you. We're going to be taking a look at CAD. In fact, what I'd like to do is just focus on taking components and mating them up into an assembly. And then at the end of the video, I want to show you a technique in which you can create an exploded view. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cap and I'm going to mate it to this solid model right here. The way I like to do this is I like to use construction geometry, all right? And I'm going to use that construction geometry as a method to grab the piece I want to move. And I'm also going to use the construction geometry as a target as where to place that, that shape that I'm moving. Easiest way to do this is come over to Model Tools. I'm going to use Extract and Edge. This is the edge on that blue solid that I want to mate it to. So I'm going to just left click there. That creates a wireframe circle right along the edge there. And I'm going to come and just grab that same mating surface on the other shape here and left click. And then when I'm done, I'm going to right hand mouse click. And you can see that one CNC is created a circle right along that edge there and also on the outside edge right there. So how does this work? Well, remember, if we're going to move something, if we're going to mirror it, scale it, we need to select it first. So I want to select this shape. Quickest way to do that is just hit the letter S on the keyboard to go into select mode. That's just like using this option right here. Going to left hand mouse click. And with that selected, what we're going to do is we're going to go to move. OK, now that I have that wireframe geometry created, because you might be asking, why in the heck did you do that? Well, the reason why I created that wireframe geometry is I can grab the arc center of that. In fact, if I hover over the wireframe geometry that I created, look in the very center of that selected shape. You're going to see a little dot appear. That little dot is the reference location for arc center. So if I move my cursor in that location, ultimately we'll get a little diamond. That diamond means that we're right at the arc center. So I'm going to left click. Now I'm moving that shape with my cursor right at the exact arc center and on that mating surface. So now we'll rotate over here. I'm going to use the same technique. As I move over this arc as I take my cursor. If you look inside the very center of that blue shape, you're going to see a little dot appear. That's where I want to move my cursor. And, I, and I'll know when I'm over that because I'll get that little diamond. And then I'm also going to see the outside arc highlight there. So I'm just going to left click. And there we go. We have that shape that's been made it up there very nicely. Now I deselected that by using a, a keyboard shortcut, just hitting the letter D for deselect, but you can use this option to deselect as well. Don't worry that we left uh, the other geometry in the background there. That's okay. We're going to get rid of that a little bit later on. Now let's use that same technique to mate these shapes on the very face of this blue solid. Okay, so same thing. Head over here to our model tools, extract an edge, simply come over, left click. That creates that nice little arc there. I'm going to go back in. In fact, I could have stayed within that command and just left click there. I'm so, See, I'm selecting the same mating edge on the inside of those kind of that bright green group of shapes there. Left click, right hand mouse click, and now I have those arcs. Why did I do that? Well, I created those arcs because now I can grab that shape by its arc center. All right, so to demonstrate that, let's Let's well, let's start with this guy right here. Let's go into our select mode, hitting the letter S on the keyboard. I'm going to left click that shape. Now I want to move it. And again, I'm going to take my cursor. Wait till I hover over that arc. I can see that little dot appear. Move my cursor there. Wait till I see the diamond. Left click. Now I'm grabbing that shape by that arc center. Let's rotate this around. We'll come over here to our target. I may need to zoom in a little bit. That looks good. See the diamond? I know I'm over the arc on that blue solid now. I'm right over the arc center of that arc that's on the blue solid. So we'll left click, and there you go. You can see that that made it up perfectly. Let's do the same here. Letter S, go into select mode, go into move, hover over that arc that we made, grab the arc center, come over here, same thing. Take your cursor, wait till you see the diamond, left click, and there's a perfect mate on there. Let's do the same over here. S to select mode, go into move, grab it by the arc center. You'll know you're over the arc center when you see that diamond. Come over here, wait till you see the diamond, left click, and there's a perfect mate on there. Let's do the same here. The letter S to go into select mode, move. Let's hover over here, there's the arc center. Come over here, there's the arc center, left click. 
and there we go there's a nice perfect mate on there all right now we don't need that extra wireframe geometry hanging around anymore so one thing we could do is we could just go into our select and select our solid models there hit the letter b for blank that's just like using that tool that will temporarily hide the selected geometry now we're going to delete that control a to select everything on the screen which is just your window shortcut right for select everything hit the delete key and now we'll bring our layer back and so there we go there's our nice assembled piece there and what we did is we used construction geometry more specifically we used uh, circles and arcs that we had created by using our extract and edge tool and then we used the extract edge as a means to create the geometry so we could grab those arc centers and use those as targets when moving our shapes all right, so this video is getting a little bit long, but what I'd like to do is just give you a, a quick idea on how to create an exploded view of your part. So to do that, I'm going to select everything here just by hitting Control A on the keyboard. And I like to demonstrate this really powerful tool within one CNC called Copy to Clipboard. So I'm going to hit Copy to Clipboard. That's now placed a copy of all the selected geometry on the clipboard. I can immediately go back in here and say Paste from Clipboard and now I can tell it whatever layer I want to put it on so I'm gonna just call this layer exploded view okay and we'll click OK to that so now I have a brand new layer called exploded view I can turn that on and off and then we have our original part which is right here alright so let's go to our exploded view and let's just let's make an explosion of, of this let's grab that shape and why don't we just incrementally move that X how about I don't know maybe just an inch we'll click OK to that that looks good let's grab that shape there and let's move that uh, how about we move that in X one inch we'll move it in Y one inch and yeah let's move it in Z one inch we'll click OK to that and to kind of speed the video up I think I'll just take those three shapes delete that let's grab that shape there and let's let's rotate that around the arc center and we're gonna rotate that around the x-axis minus 90 is okay let's do that three times and we'll click OK and it looks like I should move that forward a bit looks like I went in the the wrong direction in X so let's take care of that let's make that X minus two inches and we'll click OK on that that looks good and we'll deselect and so there's kind of a neat exploded view so the idea here is that we've gone over how to take parts and mate them up into a nice assembly and then I also demonstrated how to use your edit copy to clipboard and paste from clipboard to create an exploded view so if you had to give a presentation you could show the assembled part and don't forget you can always come down here and change your viewing style to transparent if you wanted a transparent view and then turn that off and go to your exploded view and then you've got a nice transparent exploded view of your assembly okay Hey, it's been great demonstrating one CNC for you today. And please keep us in mind if you're considering CAD CAM or if you want to purchase a great CAD CAM system and want excellent service, please give us a call at area code 909-931-7811. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.